Guys, Crucible, getting crucified. <laughs> nice. Oh. Don't you think it's the anthem of PvP games, Sam? It's an anthem in a lot of ways. It's an anthem in a lot of ways. Okay, as soon now. as I booted this up, I'm like, this is anthem. Well, actually, it also looks like Avatar. Okay? It does? My girlfriend walked past and watched me, saw me play, and I was playing with that blue lady or whatever. <laughs> and she's like, get off Avatar! I'm like, yeah, You have a point. You have a point. actually Avatar. So, uh, Crucible is a game you probably haven't heard of because the marketing for this game has been disastrous to start. <laughs> has been very bad, but it's come out, and it's basically already immediately flopping, both critically and commercially. Uh, it's an honest tragedy because mm -hmm. it's like... Amazon's first real game, uh, and it's just not ready for the spotlight. It's not ready for prime time. Oh. It's not ready for Amazon prime time. Terrible. Nice. Goodbye. I said goodbye, I don't know why. <laughs> Guys, we're out. After that joke, I'm that's out. right, I'm okay. done, I'm out. We're out. Okay, so let's start with the marketing. I didn't even know this thing was out until Ralph's like, dude, let's review this, jump on it. It's coming out tomorrow. I'm like, oh fuck, okay, cool. Yeah, I yeah, heard yeah. about it from a tweet from a guy who does PR, who I speak to from time to time. And uh, that's all I heard it. He's like, mm. oh, this game comes out soon. I'm like, what the hell? Mm. No idea other than that. And, and here's my guess with this, right? Here's my guess. I think that there was no plan to release this game at this point in time, but then they saw the Corona stuff and they're like, Oh baby, this yep. is our chance. Let's get the game out right now. We're gonna get all these big numbers. Everyone's locked in their houses. Let's do it, boys. Terrible decision. Maybe they Terrible uh, decision. maybe they they silent manned it. Is it the silent man? You know the cap uh, the quiet man. Quiet man. Uh, yeah. They were like, oh, we're not, we don't even want to talk about it. Just get it out and say mm, it's nothing. Yeah. No, but I do think you're right. I think they definitely thought this is pandemic time. Let's get this baby out ASAP. And it feels like it in so many ways. So I mean, where do you start? Yeah, look, well, at a basic level, we should talk about what it is. What it is. It's a hero-based shooter, whatever. It's kind of more MOBA-esque than Overwatch. So Overwatch is very much like, hey, kill everyone while you get the payload forward. It's very much like a arena shooter with heroes yeah. versus this is very much like, cool, you're on a big map, you've got objectives you need to move between. It's not a MOBA for sure, but like it has a lot of those MOBA-esque elements. Bit of a hybrid. Uh, people are likening it to Paragon and Gigantic and etc. Battleborn. Yep. Not, it's not quite like any of those, but look, it's close enough to say it's in that category. It definitely tried to do its own thing. Yeah, like you sure. jump on and after, you know, two or three hours of playing it, you go, okay, I get what this it was trying to do. It's trying to take some successful aspects of big games and kind of make its own thing. And it kind of looks like Pandora, you know, like it looks it absolutely like beautiful when you look at it. But the big problem already is the map, man. The oh, map man. is gigantic. It's so big. There is no fast travel. You know, you're really relying on your abilities and like they can only get you so far to get you back to combat. But before we even get into the shooting mechanics and whatever, the world is just so gigantic that it feels dead. Even if it looks yeah. lush and you're looking around going, wow, this looks like a really realized world. There's just not a lot going on. Yeah. And it's tried to fill itself with you killing these little like you know, PvE enemies, right? And you're supposed to kill them so that it can level you up. There's just a... Not a lot of diversity. There's only there's, like one enemy. There's two or three. No, there's the, the Stegosaurus looking Stegosaurus, thing. Stegosaurus. And then there's the flying there's blue There's the things, flying thing. And then there's... Uh, That's it. And the flying things else. are very rare, by the way. Yeah, so it's are. basically just the Stegosaurus looking dude. It's like things. the Mewtwo of, of this game. Right? You don't it, see him a lot. It's it, like PvE is is a huge part of this game, okay? Because it's about like you've got to kill stuff to get experience and then you go and fight other players, okay? The PvE is so boring. Mm. It's so boring. Like comparing it to something like Hunt Showdown, where each enemy is really well designed. They have a very specific strategy for them. They have like just... They work, right? The PvE side of that game actually works properly. This is so dull. I can't believe that they thought that this was ready to launch. Yeah, I, just that side of the game alone is terrible. Definitely. I think that, you know, when you're playing a MOBA, for instance, because they obviously tried to model this in some aspect of, you know, popular games, right? Like Overwatch and MOBAs and whatever, right? Now, you know, all these trash mobs that meet, it creates this constant chokehold, you know, and that's where all the action is. The, another big problem with this, is you're waiting three or four minutes for the next choke hole to happen because what happens is choke hole, choke point, do you choke mean like, point, choke point. Do you mean like just objective on the map? No, like the choke point. You know, like when there's all the all the stuff's happening, everyone's trying to like 
sure. get things done in that little in that in, in that area. You know, you're waiting four minutes for this giant mushroom plume to you know to surface somewhere in the map. Yep. The problem with that is. There's just not a lot of stuff going on between then. So I'm looking at my watch going, man, when is this next yeah. thing happening? And because the map is so big, you, you basically never bump into people while you're waiting for that. Yeah, to you don't. So, so there's actually three game modes as well. And this is another problem I have with this game, okay? There are three game modes. The first one is Heart of the Hive, mm -hmm. which is 4v4, and it's the strategy sort of where you go and capture an objective and the teams like meet to fight over this objective every few minutes, etc. Then there's another one called Harvest Control, which is basically like there's five points on the map, you have to control them. That's 8v8. So it's a lot more action-y, a lot more spammy. Then there's Alpha Hunters, which I shit you not, is a two, it's like teams of two, there's eight teams, and it's Battle Royale. Mm. Like, how could you make a game on launch with heroes like this and have all three of those game modes at once and then think you could balance this game appropriately? Mm. Every one of these game modes needs entirely different class balance and map design and objectives and whatever else. But they've just been like, no, 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 no. We'll launch all of them at once and we'll see which one sticks. Spoiler alert, none of them stick. <laughs> they all suck. Like, you have to commit to a single vision with this game. Yep. And yep. just, just not, not do that. And look, I think, you know, Fortnite was a perfect example. They committed to a one vision. They're like, oh, you know, whatever. And then they went all in on, you know, Battle Royale. And yep. that was just all they did. And they balanced the hell out. You know, they made that work. And they cancelled Paragon to make it happen. Exactly, right? <laughs> and I think that, you know, for them to go out, you're right, with all these game modes. Yeah, it's terrible. It's just such new territory. They really need to, like, nail one first. And, and it also affects game cues as well. Because, like, even as I was... I had the worst... Worst issues with this, I dropped out at least 15 times waiting for games. No, no joke. When you split your players across multiple queues, it makes every game harder to fill. And so it's just another dumb choice with mm. this game. So look, the uh, Achilles heel of this game right now though is class balance. Uh, class design I think is actually pretty cool. Like. I, I it has some life. It definitely has some life in terms of the class design. Like the kits that they have are pretty interesting, mm. unique, new. I liked some of them quite a bit, actually. Um, I definitely felt like I could see the outplay potential with some of them. At first, I was a bit like, eh, I'm not sure about this, but I spent about 20 hours with the game, and eventually I came to like the kits. Not all of them. Some of them aren't great, but most of them are pretty good. The balance, though, is hilariously bad. Like. Uh, some of these characters are so stupidly overpowered. And some it's of them like, are stupidly underpowered. Like yes. that blue avatar chick, right? So useless. I, I, so you, useless. I don't know what to do with her apart from just Web no, I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, and you, yeah, that's a cool cooldown anyway. So it sucks no, anyway. Just, I mean, uh, they needed this game needed months more player testing just to arrive at ideal balance. But again, as I said, because there are these three different game modes, you're never going to be able to achieve that anyway. There are certain characters who are basically completely unviable in two v two alpha hunters, yep. and there are characters that just must picks pretty much across the entire game because mm. they're so strong. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Yeah, I, I just think also the biggest issue for me was like, this just feels horrendous it when does. you are shooting your gun. It does. You know, if you put the world aside, but the gun mechanics feel absolutely amazing, you can make allowances for that, yep. you know? Because then you're really like seeking that next uh, combat exchange. But mm. in here, you're like, man, I don't even, I'm not even excited for the next one. And I couldn't help but feel like it was very... Like, I, for me, it was like a mobile game in the way, like it felt Call of Duty-esque on mobile or yeah, yeah, all yeah. those kind of Chinese it's kind of uh, well, first person shooters. Sam. Very racist, racist of course. Sam. No, but like there's a lot of those on there on the mobile platform that just feel janky. And, yeah, like, there's... When you're connecting and stuff, it doesn't feel right. There's you know? a jitteriness to it uh, at the whole time. It feels really light and floaty. Mm. Hit registration is really bad. Melee hit registration, by the way, doesn't exist. It's just, you don't actually <laughs> know if you're hitting a target <laughs> unless you see their health going down. because there's no feedback at all. So you're just swinging. You could be an inch away from your target and you wouldn't know it because it doesn't make any sign. Like, did you notice that one of the characters doesn't have a reload animation built in yet or sounds for it? Which one? You mean the lady the that, lady that the, has the, the sword? Knife? Yes, she has, she has a, a, a pistol and she can switch to a sword. Yes. Yep. No, not the one that has the knife. No. There's okay. another one and she switches between, and she has this pistol and she shoots it. And then when it's time to reload, she just does this. I didn't see that. That's it. I, I no sound, no movement, nothing. And all of a sudden your bullets are back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game has actually been officially released. This is not early access. This is not public alpha or mm. beta or whatever. This is actually a product that Amazon Studios put out onto the store with a finished 1.0 label on it. And they're like, guys, go and play our game now. Go and spend money in the store. This game is done. Yeah. It's uh, so not done. Uh, I think it's- Unbelievable. Yeah, I think it's good what, uh, what's it called? Uh, PUBG did, right? They kind of went out saying it's a beta for like 
400 years, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it was a safe space to be in for them because they're like, it's not finished, guys. <laughs> yeah. it, it still kind of sucks. But hey, we're not saying it's released yet. It took forever them to, for them to actually release it. And looking back now, I'm like, maybe that was a kind of a smart strategy because yeah. it kind of positions the audience to know that this isn't actually done yet. You for know? sure. It's just, yeah. You know definitely. what I mean? But uh, this just feels so unbelievably unfinished and full and not not realized you know you're yeah. playing it you're like this kind of feels like it's not even in beta it feels like alpha yeah, like, it actually does feel like it feels alpha. like alpha you know and like i would actually really like for this to succeed because i would be interested in a game like this i i really enjoy the whole pve vp balance thing mm -hmm. like it's one of the reasons i love hunt showdown so much because you're not just thinking about shooting the enemy you're thinking about well where do i need to be on the map and should i kill that you know mob zombie whatever or not mm -hmm. and like you're making those decisions in the background and i really like like that I'd really like for this to be successful but it's flopping super hard right now uh, basically non-existent on Twitch um, player count is rapidly rapidly Massively plummeting God, yeah. um, there's no marketing presence I bet most of you who are just like clicking on this video didn't know what heard of it before yeah um, it's just it's just really bombing it and I can't see a way for this like think about how quickly bleeding edge faded into obscurity, right? Remember that game? Of course. It's like, it was out like a month ago. No one even heard, has even heard of it right now. It's no. just like, nowhere. Mm. I mean, obviously you've had Battleborn and Paragon and Gigantic already die. Anthem. You've got Overwatch, which is um, coming out with a sequel either this year or next. Yep. You've got Valorant coming out next week, free to play, which is gonna be Isn't this next week? massive behemoth. Yeah. I can't see a case where this game just hey, we'll just do a few patches and it gets better. Like, what I said in my review is that I think they should take this down. I think they should take it down. I think they should work on a closed alpha for yep. six to nine months. Yep. Completely redesign huge aspects of the game. Change the name because it's Crucible, Crucible and that's yeah. Destiny. And I just thought it was Destiny. Yeah, but, everyone thinks it's Destiny. Yeah, everyone. I, I, look, I look, I think you're right. I think actually taking this down, yep. Number one, uh, re-releasing it in a window that gives them a bit of space because there's a lot of games coming out soon. No, I don't agree. This game came out in May when nothing else came I, out. I hear that. What I'm saying is it's been a failure now, so sure, wait sure, sure. until the next moment where there's not a lot going on. Sure. And B, I, I would say that there is potentially a light at the end of the tunnel for them if they actually are able to completely rebuild this and make the, the map not as big as Red Dead 2, you know? It's just absolutely a, a joke. And every time you die, it feels like you're walking back to your body in World of Warcraft. Oh my God. There's just so many things, but I, I, I really feel like this just feels like the first attempt of a developer, which it is, I think, for Amazon. This is their first triple a game if not first game in general that i can think of i actually right? we heard that they also did the the tour like that that top gear game there was like a top gear game i didn't play yeah, it okay i didn't play it either. uh but and look it just feels like it's a first attempt i hope that they can you know reposition this and, and go out the gate with a new product but this has been a huge disappointment and it's actually getting reviewed terribly by the <laughs> media outlets like yeah. five out of ten is like a one out of ten when a media IG, outlet. IGN you. gave it four out of ten. I that mean, that tells zero. you it's a zero. That's right. All right, so that's guy. That's Crucible. For the love of God, don't play it. Just avoid it like the plague for now. It's just not worth your time. Uh, if it survives six or nine months, check it out then. But I don't have high hopes for it. So goodbye, fam. <laughs>